Lee. And I'm Noelle. Well, it's that time of year again. It's testing season. And as you know, classes and other schedules will change over the next few weeks, and Cafe Blue is one of them. Cafe Blue will not be serving breakfast during class time this week. They will only be serving breakfast before school and will have a limited menu. Sausage biscuits, chicken biscuits, cinnamon rolls, and sweet tea will be the only items available. The library will also be closed during the school day for testing. Students can come by before school from 7.35 to 7.50 or after school from 2.50 to 3.05 to use the library. Student Council is hosting LHS's annual canned food drive. I'll drive one from the 2nd through the 6th of December and the goal is 30,000 cans. Yeah, you heard that, 30,000 cans. These cans will go to the Community Health Center and feed families in Wilson County. Each second block class will bring items to compete with other classes for prizes. This year, if we meet our school goal, participating second block classes will receive a pass to leave either three or five minutes early from school the last day before break. On November 21st, members of the Beta Club attended their state convention at Opryland Hotel, where they took part in many competitions. We are very part of, proud of the delicates and hard work of all of our students. The following events are some of the highlights of the weekend. Maya Gibson plays fourth in black and white photography. Ethan Malice plays second in math. Lainey Jacobs plays second in creative writing. Connor Shaw plays fourth in science. And Sean Redman, Jackson Lee, Brittany Gill, and Shelby Bryant plays third in freshman problem solving. The Japanese club will meet this Thursday at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. Remember, yearbooks are on sale for $75. The price increases as the year progresses, so don't delay. For the past few years, cadets in our JROTC program have sent Christmas cards to military personnel stationed overseas and stateside, as well as patients to our local veteran hospitals. Our seniors actually hand carry cards to the VA hospital in Murfreesboro and hand them out to the patients there. We produced over 2,500 cards last year and intend to increase our level of outreach for this season. If you know someone who would like to receive Christmas mail, please send Sergeant Lindsay the names, ranks, duty stations, and mailing addresses by Friday, December 20th. They would be honored to send cards to all of them. The book club publishes a literary magazine every year, once a year. This magazine is filled with artwork, poetry, short stories, and scripts written by students. We are accepting submissions now. Students can submit their work to Club at gmail.com. Boys Wrestling travels to the Clarksville today for a match against West Creek and Leewood at 4.30. Also, boys and girls basketball teams play Telehoma here at home. Girls start at 6.30 and the boys play immediately after. And don't forget about this Friday as Rob was Mount Julia come to our house to take on our boys and girls basketball teams. Student tickets will be on sale for this week's games at the bank for $3. Student, students may also purchase one ticket with school ID. The, the cost will be $6 at the gate. The LHS Band and Choir Concert is December 7th at 7 p.m. And our Dance Showcase will be December 10th. All events will take place in the auditorium. Congratulations to our bowling team for making the district quarterfinals. Postseason begins today at Pro Bowl West with the 3.30 p.m. start time. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Noelle. And this has been news to you from the white and blue. Have a great day, LHS.